how to set up Clavio, Clavio email marketing for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you how you can set up your Clavio for your email marketing, automation, email flows, and much more. So let's get into it. First of all, what you need to do is as a complete beginner, you can go to Clavio.com and you will land on this website right here. Clavio.com is the official website for Clavio where we will be able to sign up and get started with Clavio.com. So with Clavio, I will be able to create email marketing campaigns we can create email flows for our products for our shops that we have and then we can also create sign up forms and much more so in order to get started with clevio you can click on this sign up button so here signing up process is going to be really easy you have to enter your email address enter a password company name company website phone number and how you will be using clevio for my own business or for clients then you will just click on i am not a robot and click on create account this way you will get your own account on clevio after the initial sign up or sign into your Clavio, this is where you will land. You can see this is our main dashboard. On our Clavio dashboard, we have our home option. This is where I'll be getting my objectives, performance, list and segments, and activity feed. Then we have our campaigns. So this is where we create our email marketing campaigns, our emails, and more. Then we have our flows. In our flows, I will be able to create email flows for my, uh, let's say, uh, if I have a store, I'll be able to create confirmation emails. And if I have abandoned cart email flows, then I can create from here. Then we have our sign up forms, audience, content, and analytics. And then we also have conversation where I can get my own inbox. So with Clevio, we can not only create email marketing campaigns, we can also create SMS campaigns. So this is actually pretty impressive. Today, we'll focus on email marketing. So I'll just go to the campaign section here and it will take us to the campaigns. Now, we have to click on create campaign. There are two types of campaigns we can create on Clevio, email or SMS. We'll select email, click on create. Now we have to give our campaign a name. So what I will do is I'll call it a new campaign, new test. Now we have to enter our tags. We can create tags for different campaigns so that it's easy to organize and manage. Then we have our recipients. So here I will select my recipient list. So I'm going to just select two of my lists from here. Perfect. Uh, then we have don't send to. So here I can also select a list where I don't want to send the emails. Uh, skip recently emailed profiles. And then we also have the tracking. Click on continue to content. Now it will take you to our editor where I will be able to add some content. Subject line. So let's say my subject line is new or new products. So this is the email that I want to create. Now we have a preview line. I'm just going to type in this text. Sender name. So this is where you will enter your name. Uh, I'm just going to add our, you know, company name. And then we also have an email address. Uh, then we have to select the editor. And I will be selecting a drag and drop instead of text only or HTML. Uh, it depends on you, but this one is really easy. And as a complete beginner, uh, it's going to be actually really easy to use. So I'm going to go with drag and drop. Now we have themed here. I can select a theme for my campaign with Clevio. We get a lot of different multiple themes that look pretty good. Uh, we also have basic and then we have my templates. So I will be going for a theme here and I want to create a new product one. So we'll just select any of these. Let's go with this one. This is the template preview. This is what our email will look like. It looks pretty good. And now we can click on use template. So you can see this is our template that we can edit. In content, I'll be able to add different blocks where we have text, images, split buttons. Uh, we will be able to add horizontal lines, our social bars, and much more. So editing is really easy. You will just select, you know, any of the block from here and edit it out. So we have a logo here that I want to remove because this is not the logo for my store. This is where I can upload my own logo or what I can do is I can just leave this option or add a text. Now this is, we have this banner right here, uh, which is a text. So I will select this one and it says spring sale, uh, save up to 75% and we have a code. Then of course, this is not the text that I want to add. What I will do is I'll customize it. So we're just add the word new here and we have products. So I'll just go like this and we can scroll down. We have save up to 75%. So I'm going to get rid of this text and delete it. Then we also have a code here that I want to remove. So we'll remove the code as well. And this is what it will look like now. 
So this is what it says. It looks pretty good. It's a simple text that has been added here. Now we have a background. Uh, so we have an image in the background that we can change. So I'll click on replace and change the image. We can uh, upload image from our gallery or we can also check out the different product catalog that we have already. Uh, what I will do is we also have an image library where I have already uploaded some of the images. Here I'll just import an image with the URL. So I have uploaded my image here. Now we will move on to the next section, which is uh, we have two images here and then we have a button. So here again, we will change the images, select the image, click on replace. We can select the products as well. So I am selecting the products from my, uh, you know, product catalog like this. Click on select. And now you can see the product images have been added here. When it comes to editing the button, you select the button from here. And now you can add any kind of link or a text here. So it says women's shoes but I want it to say winter. Now we can select the color for the button. So it's pink. I can change it to some other color if I want to. Then we have our uh, link option where I will insert the link. Similarly, we have this button here. So I'll customize it as well. Again, I'll just enter the word winter and we will enter the URL for the product. So we can even add, uh, you know, links to directly to our business page, directly to our websites, to our, uh, you know, Shopify store product pages right here. Then we have display options too. Click on done and your buttons will be edited. And then we have another image. Let's say I want to insert some text now. So I'll just scroll down a little bit and we'll go to the block section and it's a simple drag and drop. So you drag the text and drop it where you want it to be. Similarly, we can add maybe a horizontal line right here. So I will enter the text now. This is where you enter it. So I'm just gonna add a dotted line so that you get an idea that this is where you add the text like this. Click on done. And then we have some of the categories created here. I don't want that. So I will just get rid of these. Okay. So I got rid of some of the text that we had here. And then we have the social links. How to add the social links. You can just click on the, you know, social links uh, option here, the block and drag and drop it right here. Once it's added, you click here and then you can add an icon and then you add your link address for your social media. This way we create an email with our Clevio. We can also change the background color. So you can see the background color on this one is this light pink color. If you want to change it, you select the section background and we can even add an image in the background if you want to. Go to the display option and it shows you the visibility and we can also edit out everything. If we want to add more blocks, so you just go back to the block section here in the content and select any of the blocks. Uh, we can even add different columns and sections. We can add dividers and horizontal or vertical lines to make it more look more good. Then we have the mobile option here. You can switch to the mobile preview. This is what it will look like on a mobile. And then we have a desktop view. Click on preview and test. And once you click on preview, it shows you the preview of your email. Click on save and exit and your email that you're creating will be saved on Clevio. Now I can send this email to the list that I have created. We can send this email to multiple uh, customers, multiple subscribers at once. Clevio is an amazing platform to create email marketing campaigns and SMS campaigns. So if you have a business where you need to send campaigns and you can create one with Clevio and get started for free. Uh, you can see this is our email now. I will just click on send and this email will be sent to my all of my lists that I have added right here. This is how you create email marketing campaigns with Clevio. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.